Missing my hair appointment affects me negatively in the following ways. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeannie and this is Get This Glowing and in today's video we are going to be having a look at uh, ABH Holiday for 2019 and that includes this palette. This is the palette that is in collaboration with Carly Bible. And if you don't know who Carly Bible is, she is a very big OG YouTuber. Let's have a look at um, the palette. And then the other thing um, that I also picked up, this is something that actually um, did excite me. And some people don't like the Liquid Lips by Anastasia. Um, I really don't care who makes the Liquid Lip. Most of the time, liquid lips excite me. Um, I don't care if they're too harsh or too drying because I'm just going to put um, Floss, my new favorite lip gloss, <laughs> that's the name of it, <laughs> on the top of it anyway. So it does not matter if it's too drying. It's just never too drying for me because I'm going to put something on the top of it. And it was the colors that excited me in this. So this is Undressed and it's a five-piece lip set. Um, I love a good new lip set and this one really did excite me. So, um, let's go ahead and, um, swatch and do a try on of this. It comes, like I said, with five pieces. So liquid lipsticks, um, the shades are sand, on mute, peachy, beaming, and the lip gloss is uh, called Summer Vibes. This is very metallic, and this is, uh, yes, the Lip Gloss Summer Vibes. So here's what that shade looks like. It's just very, very light pinky nude. Very, very metallic. This is your shade on Mute. Ooh, pretty. So this is a kind of a dusty rose mauve shade right here. Uh, this one is sand. So this one is a light, more of a pink shade. And this does look, those both of those look to be more matte in color. Um, this one has more of a metallic and it is called, this one is your beaming shade. Yeah, it has more of a high shine, kind of a metallic shade. And this one is your peachy. And I would definitely say that's a good description. It's a matte peachy nude right here. So let me just wipe. What's on my lips. Which is an Alamar liquid lip. And let's start with that peachy nude. So very light, and this is the one that is in the shade Peachy. Let's move on and go into the next color. Let's move into Sand, and this is more of a pinky nude. Very flesh toned. If your skin tones like me, adding a nice lip liner would really warm that up and make that a more wearable color, I think, more of a, like I would definitely be able to wear this, but I'm going to need to put something like Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury with it. And so once you put that with it, let me show you. A 
I think once you add a little bit of Iconic Nude, that kind of deepens it up. And putting that underneath it, or stripped down by MAC, can make it a little bit more doable. Let's try this one called On Mute. I really like this one. Nice mauvey rose. Mm, looks good. And then moving into uh, beaming. I even like that one. I wasn't thinking I would, but I do. That'd be a great holiday party lipstick. Yeah, that's pretty. And then for the lip gloss. Uh, this one smells so good. And I even like that one. Okay, I think I'll just leave that one on my lips while I start to get ready. That one's pretty. I like these. Okay, so just some new colors, new nudes, and there they are again. And so, yeah, those are just really pretty. I like those a lot. I already have um, my Anastasia foundation. I have that on. So this will be a, end up being a full face of Anastasia. This is in 210N. I'm loving that. I have on um, my bronzer in Anastasia Tawny, this one. I've got um, highlight in Amrezi, uh, one of the best highlights out there. And I have um, blush. I've got the Pink Passion Trio. This one's a really pretty pinky um, just, you know, a very girly pinky blush since we are going to be having a look at the Carly Bible palette. And if you know anything about Carly Bible, everything that she does is a very girly, girly, um, pinky, roses. Carly is a very girly, girly girl. So the um, palette um, is in the traditional Anastasia style. Um, which it looks like this. And uh, this palette did not really speak to me that much um, when I looked at it. This honestly, I don't know what's going on with Anastasia. Let's, let's stop and let's talk about this for a minute. Um, what is going on with Anastasia? Do you guys feel that way? ABH used to, you know, released, you know, normal, maybe one uh, palette a quarter, um, you know, spring, fall, uh, summer, winter, you know, basically on a normal schedule. And you were excited for them to release something. They were a collector brand. You wanted your collection to grow. You felt like you could keep up with things. Um, and quite honestly, you were ready when when they released, you were, you were excited, you waited for it, you wondered about it, and, and it was fun. It was, it was a fun release, it was a hyped release, it was something that you were ready for. And, and I would say that that was true up to the point of the Riviera palette. And maybe even to the point of the Alyssa Edwards palette. Um, Alyssa Edwards palette was released a little bit sooner, like I would have expected that to be released maybe in July, maybe July. So I think it was released around May or June, so it was a little bit earlier than what I, I, was, I was anticipating. Um, but, you know, okay, you know, I don't know, like, what is going on with ABH? I don't know. Um, but it's not normal for what has been going on in the past. I just, I don't get it. I don't personally, yeah, like, like, this does not look like Christmas to me. It looks like spring. 
it is a, to me, and let's talk about this, because it is a toned down version of Norvina. Do you need this if you have this? Okay, there's a red in here. When I see this, I see, to me, Norvina. So, yeah. So if you have Norvina already, do you really need this? I, I don't know. To me, ABH is just releasing a lot. It's too much, too fast. So, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, that's, this is what, it, it just reminds me a lot of the Norvina palette. You know, there's a lot of grays in, in, you know, bluish grays in the Carly Bible palette, and there's not in, in here, but there's just a lot, you know, there's purples, and maybe that's what I'm seeing. I don't know. I am just kind of over all of the new releases. How do you feel? I don't know. Comment below. It is available at Ulta if you're wanting to get your Ulta points on it. It's $45 at Ulta. So let's get in and um, do a look using this palette and I am going to start with this shade right here called Bible. And I'm just going to use a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush and I do have the Anastasia uh, Primer on my lids. And I'm just going in in a stippling motion and just packing that color in in my crease. I just find that sometimes that works better for me with my aging eyes just to put it where I can feel. It's it's kind of a method of feeling my super orbital bone and that kind of helps me with feeling where that is because if I put it directly into my crease I won't even be able to see the color. So I kind of want to feel where that supraorbital bone is. And then once I do that and I pack the color where I want it, then I'll go with windshield wiper motions and just blend that out. Now I will give you this. This color is beautiful. So once I swatched this in store, I wasn't exactly thrilled about the palette itself until I swatched it in stores and then I was excited enough about the palette itself to want it enough to get it, if that makes any sense. I have to say that is a pretty color. I'm gonna go into this color stub right here and I'm just gonna darken up in the crease just a little bit because I have this cranberry color in my shirt. And I'm just going to put that in the crease and on the outer V. And I'm just going to take that about two-thirds over. So basically, I'm taking that over all the way on the um, iris. Even though this color looks really, really red, it's a really pretty color on the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this OA. Does, does anybody watch that show? I don't know what she was talking about whenever she said she had to name it for this TV show she's addicted to. So, I don't know what she's talking about with that, but obviously there's some TV show out there called The OA. I don't know what it is, because I don't watch TV. There's a lot of things in this world I don't know about. So that was OA, and now I'm going to go into this beautiful shade called Mandala. And I'm going to put that over in my inner corner. I am just going to go into the OA again. And I'm putting that on the outer side while I put Mandala on the inner side. These are really pretty shades. And then I'm just going to 
pick up some with this concealer F70 from Sigma. I'm just going to blend those two together. Detailed Crease by Sigma, and this is, I think this is a new brush to them, the E33, and I'm going back into Steb, which is, you know, this um, red shade here, and I'm just going to put that right here on the outer edge. Then I'm going to take this small pencil brush, it's a Gosso 5, and I'm going to go into Bowie and put that along my lower lash line. I really like this shade. Beautiful brown shade. I'm going to go into Moo for my inner corner. A little bit of Jode just to see what that shade looks like right out here. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that look so far. Okay, so maybe let me put on a little bit of a liner. And this... <laughs> This chair makes a lot of noise. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, M Cosmetics liquid liner. That's a good liquid liner. Let me put on some powder, and I've got the ABH powder right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not that big of a fan of the ABH powder, but since I'm doing a full face of ABH, I'll go ahead and use it. But I can tell you right now, if I wasn't doing a full face of ABH, you couldn't pay me to use this powder. That's how much I don't like it. And I will use the Anastasia Dewey set because I love it. And that will definitely help out that powder that I hate. That is a very, very good setting mist. I love it. I hate such a strong word. I shouldn't say that. I just dislike that powder very much. It's not a very good powder to me. It makes me look so bad. So let's put on the darkest lippy. Let's use this light lippy with some lip gloss. There's my final look using the Carly Bible palette. The quality of the shadows are very good. They're, you know, on point to the ABH formula that's been in the regular uh, palettes before from what I can tell. Let's do some swatches though um, compared to some of the shades in the Norvina that resemble each other and see what we think. So um, there is a shade that is called Volatile that reminds me a little bit of the shade Bible. So we're starting out with the uh, Norvina. It will be first and then the um, Bible palette and shade will come second. They are not the same. However, they are very complementary to each other. So I think that these palettes, I think that's what we're going to end up seeing is that they're going to be um, complementary to each other more than they're going to be the same. There is a shade in the Norvina palette that is called Incense, and that shade reminds me of the shade in the Bible palette that is called Chai. And so here that is. This is the Norvina shade that is called Incense. And here's the Bible shade called Chai. The shade Dreamer in the Norvina palette. And you have Bully in the Bible palette. This is Dreamer and this is Bully. Then you have the shade Summer in the Norvina palette. And you have My Angels in the Bible palette. And you also have Maud in the Bible palette. So this is Summer. 
This is my angels. Down here you have mod. You have the shade base in the Norvina palette and you have bear in the Bible palette. These are very, very skin-like tones, but this is base in the Norvina palette and this is bear in the Bible palette. And then you have these. You have Rose Gold in the Norvina palette, and you have Aura in the Bible palette. And so they look similar in the pan, but whenever you swatch them, they're not. So just so you know, even though whenever you go into the store and you see them sitting there, they do look even in the store, they look very, very similar. They're really not as similar as you think once you get the swatches on. They're not that similar. So if that helps you in your decision or helps you make up your mind for or against of whether or not, you know, it... it it sort of helped me whenever I was swatching some of them back and forth. I realized that um, when you look at it, it really looks very similar. When you actually go to swatching them, they are not as similar as they look. They are, however, very complementary, which was more appealing to me. It kind of put me over the line as to the fact that, yeah, I do feel like that maybe I do want to pick the, this up because I feel like that it would help me whenever I'm making my looks. Um, for my Norvina palette, um, it would kind of help broaden that palette and maybe help me make better transitioning looks so you know it would um, make my Norvina palette more appealing to me and the Bible palette more appealing to me so that's why I went ahead and picked it up so I hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did give me a big thumbs up it really helps my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love to have you hit that subscribe button while you're there uh, don't forget to hit the post notification bell that way you'll be reminded each time that I post new videos to my channel and I hope that today is finding you happy healthy and well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video but for now Mitches guys. Bye -bye.